How are you living? Doing good, man. How are you? One time, one time. So um, I hop into podcasting, bro. Where that come from? How does it work? Uh, so the podcast is really just uh, insight, you know, uh, on uh, what's going on, like, in, in my life as an artist and also what happened from, like, the beginning to till now. Like, just, like, giving people gems and, and, and little game every now and then, you know. Um, also, I look at the business side of things. I look at the challenges that come with it, the experiences, what you learn from traveling and all that type of stuff, you know. Yeah, just really just, like, giving people a look behind the curtains, really. I mean, obviously, podcasts have been quite a, a trending topic. You know, a lot of uh, things have been going down yeah. um, in that space. How are you hoping to, to affect it differently? Are you going to be maybe as controversial as the, the medium requires sometimes? On the, on the podcast? On the podcast, bro. Nah. Nah, I'm not controversial. I'm not that guy, man. Keeping it safe. Nah, keeping it very simple, yeah. real. Not even just safe, just real. I just, I just don't have a lot of controversial stuff going on in my life. Anyways. So, I mean, we can still obviously expect the podcast to be done in that cadence we've come to know from you, you know, to be, you know, down, and, you know, down to earth and kind yeah, of relatable. Yeah, definitely, you know? definitely, Word. definitely. Just a lot of game in there. And also the, the hosts also bring uh, a whole lot, too. They're not, they're not just there. Um, so so what, what I did was, because I'm not that type of person to just be on camera talking, like, it's not really my style. Uh, what, I, what I did is I got a couple of people that I'm close with that, that are really good at that. So people like No Moves Leap, uh, uh, Black Coffee, I got uh, uh, Slick on there, right. uh, Scoop, you know, people that can actually also bring something to the table. As a, besides to, like, being able to talk and really host a show or podcast or whatever, they also have uh, a, a piece to share. As a f uh, like as far as their, their stories and, and what they had to go through in their walks of life. You know what I mean? Oh, that's real, man. Yeah. And um, let's delve into, obviously, the inclusion of Black and White. Um, mm -hmm. How did that work? I mean, it was obviously quite a popular song off the album. Yeah. And now chosen for the soundtrack. I saw the video looking mad plush. Oh, I appreciate um, it. How's the reception been now that it's been released as, a, you know, the visuals have been accompanied with it's it? It's been really dope, man. It's been really dope. I know. It, it's just one of those very chilled songs, one of those grown up songs. Just a nice vibe, a nice jam. Nothing too crazy. You know, word, man. And yeah. um, the Def Jam deal, bro. Um, yeah. I, by my understanding, it's everyone who followed you and assigned to Def Jam Africa is almost on a, not to say academic, like an, an academy, but they're in line to join you on the international label. How does it feel to have been the spearhead of this this movement? You know, you know, especially locally. I didn't know that that's what it was. I oh, didn't word? know. Yeah, I didn't know about other I people's know we situations. Do our research, stuff. Like I don't, I don't, I don't get into that. Oh. Um, but the opportunity on its own, regardless of whether I'm in the front or in the back or whatever, it doesn't really matter. The the opportunity and and and, and that on its own is just a blessing. One time. Two and how did it feel to go from one side of the spectrum to the other? So now you're hosting people, you're speaking to them, you're challenging them, and where it's feels usually good. you being challenged. Yeah, it feels good. Uh, you got to the flip power the now. script on them for a change. I can see that green in your eye, man. You must <laughs> be really enjoying it. Who are some of your favorite interviews been so far? Uh, I think Black Coffee. Yeah, uh, yeah, I learned a lot from him, man. Or I, I learned a lot appeal, from him. You know? Yeah, but also just like how he never changed. He's still black coffee thug. It just felt like I'm just speaking to like a, a uncle or a big brother or something straight, like that. Straight. You know, just drop gems every now. Ever so casually spoke about just like conversations with Drake and <laughs> <laughs> just drop that down like, <laughs> and you know? Hove and Beyonce. It's like yeah, when I texted Drake, I was like, what? I'm like, yo, what? But uh, yeah, I definitely learned a lot from him, man, and and how humble he still is, and and just like. Him actually even agreeing to come do this thing and, and just drop gems, man, for people to soak up and, and take after. And did you two brethren hit the studio? Huh? Did you Have we hit the, hit the studio? studio? Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. Not Is yet. it in the works? I want it to happen. We yeah. haven't even spoken about it. Like, ah, no, I get yeah. you. I get you. It's just mutual respect. And beyond the podcast, man, um, yeah. obviously a long year still left. What, uh, what can we expect from you? What you got in the pipeline, man? Uh, I want to drop, a, a, I wanna drop a couple albums. This year, two albums maybe. A couple, eh? Yeah, two albums maybe, a tape. Uh, I might even do two tapes. A couple loose joints with, like, um, cats from here, cats from the States, all over the country, all over the world, you know? What's the likelihood of you uh, snapping on an Ama Piano beat anytime soon? Never. Never? Never. Why's that? Never. Nah. Nah. It's not, not for me. It. It's not for me. I not like to you. watch people dance to it. It's, it's just not for me. <laughs> nah, I get you, man. Yeah. And um, in as far as hip hop locally, man, just to get your your overview of it, what do you think we're doing right? What do you think are some of the things we can still work on as a as a collective culture? Um, I think I think we're doing good. You know, I just uh, I just feel like if there was a little bit of unity, um, collaboration, 
uh, and less of the segregation. You know what I mean? I, I feel like we would be more of a culture. Right now, it's really just it's a space. It's not a culture. It's a space. You could choose to be in it. You could choose to not care about it at all. And it's like whatever at the moment. You know. Bless up, man. And um, what do you hope people take away from the podcast after they've experienced it? And what would you say to urge them to you know actually check it out? It would definitely um, give them a heads up on what to expect if any one of them wants to be an artist. You know, um, the challenges, the things that you should really invest in from jump so that you don't you don't get reminded like four years down the line that this is actually what's the most important like part of your of your whole career. And then you have to not like panic and try and learn four years worth of knowledge in like a couple of days or something like that. I definitely. um Yeah, I definitely w- would urge them to watch it, man. When it comes out, the first episode drops today. Um yeah, they're definitely gonna learn a lot from you, man. Bless up, man. I'm on my way out, bro. Just a, a closing question, bro. Um, who's the who's the best rapper in the country right now? The best rapper in the country? Dog, I don't know. For me, it's still it's still Stogie, dog. You talking about like like a spitter, right? Straight up spitter, hard bars. Yeah, Stogie, dog. No one goes harder than Stogie. No one goes harder than Stogie, bro. One time. Yeah. Yo, thanks so much for your time, man. Looking Peace. forward to it.